In this lesson, we're going to teach you some more advanced colors in Chinese. If you have not seen the basic lesson yet, go study that first and then come back. This scripture deck is split into several sections, with each section featuring a core color. Let's learn a few from each section to see how you can describe more nuanced colors in Chinese. Now we start. Okay, first up is red. 红色. If you want to say bright red, you can say 大红. A similar shade of red is 正红. 正 here means pure. So 正红 is pure red. So you might know 很红 is a way to describe a thing or a person is very popular. But 大红大紫, bright red and bright purple, is the same way to describe very popular thing or person in 成语. Before we start, let's see how Scritter can help you learn Chinese and Japanese. It uses space repetition to only show you words you're about to forget, saving you time and effort when studying. There are hundreds of popular textbooks, thousands of user-made lists, and lots of Scritter decks and videos just like this one. Scritter is one of the most powerful tools to help you learn Chinese and Japanese characters efficiently and effectively. You can practice writing characters, learning tones, customize your study sessions, view fun mnemonics, set daily goals, and track your progress. Go download the Scritter app to start your learning journey. How about a burgundy color, which is a dark purplish red, like the wine is named after. We call it 酒红, 酒 meaning alcohol. Okay, now for some oranges, 橘色. Many of these are named after fruits and vegetables. First, we have 南瓜橘. 南瓜 is pumpkin, so this is pumpkin orange. There is also 杏桃橙. 杏桃 is apricot, and 橙 is another word for orange, 橙色. How about some yellows, 黄色. Continuing with the alcohol theme, we have champagne color. 香槟色. 香槟 is champagne, which kind of sounds like the French word. Champagne, 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 champagne. By adding 色, it makes it a color. How about this? This is 芥末黄, mustard yellow. And finally, another favorite, 金黄, golden yellow. Okay, now on to some greens, 绿色. 军绿 is army green. The word for army is 军队. Here we have olive green, 橄榄绿. Knowing this word also lets you know American football and rugby. 美式橄榄球, American football, and 英式橄榄球, rugby. We use 橄榄 because the ball is shaped like an olive. Finally, for the greens. 森林绿, forest green. Check out the characters in the forest. It's just a bunch of trees components. 木. If you put two 木 together, you can get wood, 林. And if you put an extra 木 on the top of a wood, 林, you can get 森, forest. Want to learn more about components? Go check out the character course. Moving along the color spectrum, we have blue. First, we have sky blue, 天蓝, and then ocean blue or aqua, 水蓝, literally water blue. We learned army green early, now navy blue. 海军蓝, 海军 is navy or sea army. For royal blue in Chinese, we say 经典蓝, 经典 means classic, so classic blue. We're gonna look at some pinks. 鲑鱼粉 is salmon pink. 鲑鱼 being salmon. 玫瑰金 is rose gold. You might see this on the Apple website or when shopping for wedding rings. 玫瑰 means rose. 樱花粉 is cherry blossom pink. 樱花 are cherry blossoms or sakura, which are found all over Asia, with Japan being the most famous for them. 
Now we can learn some ways to describe the shades of black and white. 墨色 is inky black. 墨 is ink and feature the black component on the top of the character for dirt. 土漆黑 is pitch black or as black as night. 漆 actually means paint, as in 油漆 Finally, 乌黑 is crow black or jet black. 乌 is a pictograph for a crow. For white, we have Snow White, 雪白 but the Princess Snow White is 白雪公主 Ivory color, 象牙白 literally elephant tooth white. Pearl white, 珍珠白 Zhen Zhu is pearl, and you'll hear this when people talk about pearl bubble milk tea, Zhen Zhu 奶茶 Finally, we have 米色 which is rice white or beige in English. And the way we memorize all the colors of the rainbow is with this mnemonic: 红橙黄绿蓝靛紫 Try to say it with me: 红橙黄绿蓝靛紫，快一点！红橙黄绿蓝靛紫。So as you can see, the pattern for many of these colors is adding a noun or adjective in front of the color, i.e., 玫瑰金 rose gold or 水蓝 water blue. So knowing this, you can get creative making your own vocabularies for colors. Okay, that's it for this lesson. Introducing some more advanced way of describing colors in Chinese. Study your way through the scripture deck and test yourself on these colors. 下次见，拜拜。